The 4.9 magnitude earthquake sparked fear among some South Sudanese students in Ethiopia who experienced a quake for the first time. Mawao Mo is a student of business management at Andinet International College, Ethiopia. He says he saw his room shaking as the quake rattled dishes, windows, and doors. It was like between 8 and 9. So I was just inside reading. Then all of a sudden the building started to shake. I was surprised. I was like, what's the problem? Then my friend were in the sitting room. I asked them, so what's the problem? Why, why the building is shaking? So then one of my friends told me that I heard before that there's earthquake in Ethiopia, but it's not that much, it's normal. That's why the building is shaking. We felt a pressure because the building was shaking badly. Even our clothes fell down from the cupboard. Magot Chol is, is in his third year, student of law studies at Addis Ababa University. He says he was surprised, but he calmed down later. He felt some checking around our universities and even in the building where I was, exactly the library. It was actually surprising and it was not that uh, dangerous. There were no damages and injuries since the tremor was just hurt and the main place where the earthquake happened was a watch. The chairperson of the South Sudanese community in Ethiopia called on the students to take emergency precautions. Magot Chol asked students to stay updated with information from local media. It would be good for students, South Sudanese who are in different universities, to make sure they prioritize the safety. And safety must first start with individuals. In case of such scenario, if you get information early before time, you have to monitor and keep updated to information on ground. According to the United States Geological Service, which tracks earthquakes worldwide. The quake's epicenter was in Awash, Ethiopia, about 200 kilometers east of the capital Addis Ababa. There were no reports of significant injuries or damage, although residents reported buildings shaking as far away as Addis Ababa. According to the Volcano Discovery website, weak shaking likely was felt hundreds of kilometers from Addis Ababa. A week ago, a smaller series of earthquakes occurred in several parts of Ethiopia, but no major damage was reported. Nyok Ryak, a third-year student of business management at Andinet International College, says he was worried after what happened in Morocco last year. An earthquake in a mountainous region killed about 3,000 people there a year ago. This is the uh, second time in Addis Ababa I came here. We planned at 8 yesterday. It was something surprising all of us when they come at exactly at 8, but we were not informed about it. It was indeed uh, something that is uh, worrying us. We were like, this thing here will affect all of us and uh, those who are in the big buildings will be affected like what happened in Morocco earlier this year. It's very different. Some students are saying that it's not really those who are not within Addis Ababa, but for us, those in Addis Ababa, we tell it. Hundreds of South Sudanese are studying in Ethiopian institutions of higher education. Some are on Ethiopian government scholarships, while others depend on their families for school fees. For VOA News, I'm Dennis Logoni reporting from Juba.